Hello everyone, welcome to Collective Guidance Tarot. This is a reading for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. In this reading, I'm going to look at the energy between you and the individual that you're dealing with. So I'm going to pull cards representing your energy and pull cards representing the energy of the person that you dealt with. Okay, um, Aquarius, this is your energy and this is the energy of the individual that you dealt with. So Aquarius, what I'm seeing here is that the Wheel of Fortune and um, the, Eight of, the Eight of Swords. So in the past, some of you, the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Sun... You know, the Eight of Swords clarified by the Four of Swords. So in the past, Aquarius, some of you felt stuck. You felt bound to a relationship. You felt bound and stuck to someone. You felt like, you know, you couldn't move away from this individual. You felt like this person had a hold on you. You know, they had a hold on you to a point where... It always made you feel defeated. You know, you always felt like you couldn't walk away from this dynamic because this person had a hold on you. You know, this person had a way of manipulating you to stay in this dynamic. And because of, you know, this feeling of being, uh, feeling like you were stuck, feeling like you were mentally enslaved, it caused you a lot of, um, you know, you felt defeated, and I'm also getting that some of you actually started getting sick from all the stress that this person was uh, putting you through. You know, you got um, stressed to a point where, you know, the stress started to affect your health, and you started to feel defeated. Some of you even lost weight because this person was stressing you to a point where you didn't feel control over your decisions, you didn't feel control over yourself. So you felt so stuck that it defeated you in a way. It defeated your health. It defeated your willpower. But you moved away from presently. What I'm seeing is that you moved away from this dark energy and the will of fortune clarified by the sun. The will of fortune is a kind of luck. Um, abundance, um, financial abundance, emotional abundance, you can think like literally anything. It's the card that shows you that the divine wants to bless you or the divine has blessed you in a way. So you moved on from this um, relationship and because of that, the wheel of fortune started moving in your direction. Things started going your way. In the past, you always felt stuck. You always felt like, you know, you couldn't make decisions. You couldn't step outside. You couldn't step out of this dark energy that you're experiencing. But when you decided to walk away from this dynamic, the wheel of fortune, the things started moving in your direction. And because of you moving on, because of you recognizing, you know, the emotional and physical damage this relationship was causing, you know, you experienced the sun. You know, you're happy, things are going well, things are going well at work, things are going well financially. You're at a happy place. You don't have any worries. You know, you feel good about yourself. You know, you're working on your confidence. You know, you have a childlike energy. 
you know, you moved from this energy that burdened you, you know, this mental entrapment to now feeling like a child again, feeling free, you know, because you decided to walk away. So the energy of your person is the two of swords in the reverse and the five of cups. So the two of swords um, clarified by the five of cups tells me that this person had to make a decision in the past. They failed to make a decision that was crucial, a decision that was meant to make changes in this dynamic a decision that was meant to move you guys forward to the next step. And you decided to walk away. As you can see, this person is looking at the cups that fell, the cups that are on the ground. I see this, these cups as your cups, as you moving away from this dynamic. This person is disappointed that you chose yourself, you know, over this, you know, mental enslavement mental entrapment because this person in the past thought that they didn't really have to make a decision about the commitment about where you guys were moving and they always thought that you were going to you know stay where you are stay in this mental entrapment and when you decided that you didn't want this anymore as you can see this person is looking down and regretting not making this crucial decision they're looking at the cups that have fallen so this person is experiencing the five of wands. This person is experiencing a lot of conflict. And because of that, you know, they want to come to you. They want to come to you as a knight of cups. They actually want to return to your life and bring this cup of love. But what you need to know is that this is not a stable cup. This is an individual that is going to come make an offer and then walk right out this is not a stable energy that you can rely on you can never rely on this individual it's better to rely on yourself you know if this if you allow this person into your life as you can see the the five of wands this person is going to bring a lot of conflict they're going to remove you from this happy place and send you right back into this mental in, uh, entrapment, right back to this um, feeling of um, feeling defeated. So this person coming back into your life is not because they genuinely want to work on this. It's because they regret, you know, how they handled this relationship. They regret not making a choice in the past. You know, they see you being happy. They see you as the sun. And they want to come back and bring this conflict that left you defeated. So spirit is saying, don't go back. This person, whatever it is that they bring, they see this thing as a, they see this, um, them returning to your life. They see it as um, something that is going to bring them balance, as you can see with the Ace, Ace of Pentacles, something that is going to bring balance back into their life because you are the only stable thing in their life you know they were able to manipulate you and keep you stuck in one position so this person wants that power back that's why they want to make this offer not because they want to work on their toxic behavior but because they recognize that you've actually found your happiness and they are struggling to do that because instead of working on themselves this person is an individual that can't really fulfill themselves emotionally this is an individual that you can't rely on emotionally you know this is an individual that instead of working on things they bring conflict instead of having a, a union where a 50 50 union where everyone is actively involved in making it work this person all they know is conflict so they want to come back not because they care about you but they see you as an opportunity that can bring um happiness they want this sun they want you to bring this positivity into their life. So you really have to ask yourself that is it worth it losing this happy place, going back to your happy place, feeling confident, feeling lightweight, and back into this energy. You have to ask yourself, is it worth it when this person comes back and bring this knight of cups? Because there's nothing stable about a knight. This person is a knight. They're very immature in their emotions. This is an individual that would accuse you of, 
you know, cheating, of stepping outside of the relationship while knowing fully well that this is something that they are doing. So they would accuse you, they would deflect, you know, they would project the things that they were doing to you. They would deflect. They never took accountability for the things that they did. This is a very toxic individual. So you really have to ask yourself, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it? Remember where this person, you remember what this person did to you. Remember where you come from. Don't remember this, the lessons that you learned while you were dealing with this individual. Okay, Aquarius, thank you for watching. I hope the reading resonates. Please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. I genuinely appreciate the support. Bye.